Grab your camera because in this episode of 5 Minute Film School, we're talking about the rule of thirds. Welcome to 5 Minute Film School, the show that teaches you to be a better filmmaker in 5 minutes or less. I'm your host, John Michael Booth, and today we're talking about shot composition and the rule of thirds. The rule states that when you're composing a shot, you should divide the frame equally into nine parts, using two horizontal lines and two vertical lines. Then, you should place your compositional elements on these lines or at the points where the lines intersect. The theory is that this technique can add more energy or interest to a shot. It's important to note that the rule of thirds is not really a rule. It's more like a suggestion or one way to make your shots look better. If your shot contains two subjects, you can frame them so that each one appears on one of the lines. Try to balance the horizontal and the vertical. When your subjects are close together, you can treat them as one subject and balance them around the horizontal and vertical lines. Sometimes, it's enough to place your subject near one of the lines. Remember, this isn't a hard and fast rule. When your subject is a person, it's common practice to balance the subject with where they're looking with respect to the camera. If they're looking directly at the camera, such as when they're addressing the audience, you can usually get away with just about any framing. Did you notice the framing that I use for this show? Well, it probably doesn't surprise you. When your subject is having a conversation with someone off screen, it's usually better to frame the shot so that the majority of space is in front of the subject, allowing them room to talk into the space. This is called lead room or nose room. This also works well for moving subjects where you leave enough room for your subject to end up. Framing a shot where your subject turns can be tricky since you have to move with your subject while keeping the subject properly framed throughout the entire turn. If you don't move or adjust the framing, the result just doesn't look right. So that's it for this week. I hope you learned something about the rule of thirds. Special thanks to my good friend Jim Vale for being a part of this episode. His info's in the description box below. While you're down there, you can like this episode and subscribe to this channel if you want to see more. I release a new video every single Monday. Please share this video on your favorite social media sites, and if you're on Twitter, don't forget to follow 5 Minute Film School so you never miss an episode. As always, if you want to learn how to make fantastic films, you are in the right place. 5 Minute Film School. Give us five minutes, we'll make you a better filmmaker. Thank you.